What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Unhinged Live. Wait, this isn't live. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As usual, I'm Patrick Kennedy. Appreciate you all for stopping by. This isn't live, even though I, I might have thought it was, but that's fine. Today, what I want to talk about is why the Yankees shouldn't bring back current manager, Aaron Boone. Aaron Boone's contract expires at the end of the World Series. Um, a lot of people tend to think that he is coming back. Personally, I unfortunately probably think he is too, but... That doesn't mean that he should, and today I'm going to give you every reason in the world as to why Aaron Boone should not return as the manager of the New York Yankees. Let's get into it. Let's just say this, right? What if I told you guys in 2018, Aaron Boone would be taking over for a Yankees roster that came within uno, one game of making the World Series, and what did he do with that team? Absolutely nothing, bro. Absolutely nothing. Kind of going back to like the whole 2017 kind of taking over a team that had such a bright young future. You looked at that 2017 Yankee team. You could say that they were kind of a little bit ahead of schedule, I guess you could say, right? Um, no one really expected the 2017 Yankees to make it to Game 7 of the ALCS. However, going into 2018, the expectations were so high, especially after adding John Carlos Stan in the offseason. Especially with Glaber Torres coming up. And just to like not do anything with that team, just have them first round exit against the Red Sox. Bang. Next season, ALCS exit against the, the Astros, Game 6. Bro, they barely made it to Game 6, let's be honest with ourselves. Even though that team looked absolutely unstoppable through the first four games of the postseason, they completely collapsed. And then you go to 2020. Sure, COVID, shortened season, it is what it is, whatever. They still couldn't make it past the ALDS. They got eliminated by the Rays and Mike Brosseau. But yo, and then 2021, we all know what happened. We went to the season probably as the favorite in the, Amer in the American League to at least go to the World Series, right? And the Yankees got eliminated in the wildcard game. They made it there by the skin of their teeth. And they lost in Boston. Dude, it still hurts a little bit, but that's fine, I guess. I'll get over it one day. That day's not today, though. That day's definitely not today. If you kind of want to, like, bring up, like, recent managers as far as, like, oh, why the Yankees shouldn't bring back Aaron Boone? But let's look at the Yankees' two most recent managers. Joe Torre, Joe Girardi. Each of those guys won a World Series title in one of their first two seasons as a manager of the New York Yankees. What has Aaron Boone done? Nothing. And also, anyone who might be in the comment section right now, kind of like whipping in comments, being like, Oh, but Pat, Aaron Boone has such a good regular season track record. Oh, but Pat, Aaron Judge and John Carlos Stanton love Aaron Boone. I don't care. I'm looking at his kind of like passive attitude and kind of just like lackadaisical. I don't know how to spell that, but I'm pretty sure it's a word, lackadaisical coaching style. And I just think that it's not working for this team. And at what point do you kind of realize that the Boone logic in the clubhouse just isn't working, bro? Maybe you need to bring in a nice veteran presence, kind of like a Buck Showalter. Bro, maybe like a Ron Washington, maybe like a Mike Sosha. Try not to get too ahead of myself. Maybe we could save that for another video. I don't know. But maybe you need to bring in like a veteran manager, a veteran coaching staff to kind of just put these players in check and kind of just guide them through a full season without being their best friend. Because I know kind of like going into this whole thing, we thought that maybe like the Yankees could use a manager who's a best friend to the players. Clearly that hasn't worked out. And after four seasons, I don't know what more you need. This Yankees team most likely isn't going to be winning a World Series that Boone. I hope that they prove me wrong if he does happen to come back, which unfortunately I think he will. And also, I mean... One player in particular that, that I think is kind of just a, I don't want to say a telling sign of like the, the poor leadership that we've seen under like the Aaron Boone regime, Gary Sanchez. Let's not forget, Joe Girardi was essentially basically fired um, because of how he kind of came out to the media and basically ripped Gary Sanchez for his poor defense and just all around just lack of effort, I guess. I don't know. But under Aaron Boone, uh, we thought maybe Gary Sanchez would improve with, with a little bit less pressure on him. Gary Sanchez has gotten substantially worse. I'm not saying that there's any correlation there. All I'm saying is that what the Yankees thought would be the best for their young stars. For Glaber Torres coming up. For Gary Sanchez. Um, they could use someone maybe to give them a kick in the ass sometimes. And I don't think Aaron Boone's that guy. I do kind of feel like maybe at times he could be that guy. I don't. We don't know what goes on behind closed doors. But based on what he portrays to the media, I don't think he's that guy. You're not that guy. If we're kind of like looking at the Yankees roster and kind of like what the expectations were, how do you look at a team in 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021? Bro, Aaron Boone has gotten World Series capable rosters every single season as, Yankees, as the Yankees manager. How do you kind of look at them 
look at their end of season performances and be like, well, they were good in the regular season. The postseason is just a crapshoot. It's not, bro. The postseason is not a crapshoot. And I hate that the Yankees have this idea that once they get to the playoffs and they get eliminated, it's just bad luck. It's not. I, I'm sorry. But for anyone who believes that the postseason is just luck, it's not. And I, I really think that maybe if the Yankees had better leadership, they'd be able to do some damage. I don't know. But also, I don't think that this is just an Aaron Boone problem. I think for the most part, all of the Yankees coaching staff needs to be retooled. Besides pitching coach Matt Blake. I love Matt Blake. Matt Blake, if you're watching, I love you, bro. But hitting coach Marcus Timms, I'm sorry, dude. It's time to part ways. It's just, bro, you looked at the Yankees hitting in 2021. Such high expectations, such minimal results. It just, it can't happen. Your job can't be secure. Bro, if it was me, if I was, if I was the owner of the New York Yankees, Marcus Timms probably would have been gone in like the month of June. But I'm not the owner of the Yankees. Elon Musk, if you want to like have like a collaboration to buy the Yankees, let me know. I don't know. Phil Nevin, I'm sorry, but the Yankees made, I think, almost the, the most amount of outs at home plate this season. As a third base coach, that's just unacceptable. Like It's literally just your job to make sure that doesn't happen. So Phil Nevin has to go too. Uh, I love Mike Harkey in the bullpen. As the bullpen coach, he probably stays around. Besides that, I, I, I want a new manager, new hitting coach, new third base coach. Make it happen. Like, well, let's just get some new faces. Let's get some fresh faces. And then from that point, once you kind of address the coaching situation, you kind of uh, touch on the roster because the Yankees roster clearly isn't perfect. And I'm not putting all the Yankees problems uh, on Boone, but when you are the captain, bro, when, when you're the leader of a team, which is what the manager basically is. They set the tone in the clubhouse. And you haven't won anything with such a great roster in four years. Unfortunately, you have to take the blame. Whether or not the blame actually is on you, unfortunately, you got to be that guy, bro. If we want to touch on one more reason why I kind of think that Aaron Boone should go, it's just based on what we saw from him out of the 2021 season, especially early in the season. Uh, we we kind of realized that he loves resting big players, kind of just... Maybe the Yankees thought the postseason were a guarantee they didn't have to play hard earlier in the year. I don't know. Ended up to bite them in the end. Um, but John Carlos Stanton, Aaron Judge, two players, for example, who rested so much in the beginning of the year. Stuff like that can't happen. Um, I'm sorry, but these are guys, athletes in their prime. Resting them and babying them, it just doesn't work for the long run. And that's probably why the Yankees just barely made the Walker game. If the Yankees were playing at their full potential all season long, they probably would have won the division. But also, I mean, the bullpen management, it's its pretty shaky at times. I mean, we don't really want to go back to the 2020 ALDS game two uh, when they started Debbie Garcia, took him out after the first for Jay Happ, ended up losing that game. It's just all these situations where I don't know if this is on Boone. I don't know if he follows a protocol. I don't know if he's just a yes man. The Yankees claim he's not. I don't know. Is he a puppet? They claim he's not, but I, you never know what goes on behind the scenes. It's kind of unfortunate because this is starting to sound like a little hit piece on Boone. I don't dislike Aaron Boone. I'm sure he's a great person, bro. But I think this is where the Yankees organization gets it twisted sometimes. There's a fine line between like liking a person as an individual, as a human being, and committing to them as a, a member of your organization. I'm sure Aaron Boone is a very nice guy. But there comes a point where if you're just not seeing the results on the field, you have to part ways. Someone has to take accountability for once, and it seems like no one in the Yankees organization ever does. So I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see as far as what happens. But... All I know is that if the Yankees do happen to part ways with Aaron Boone, even though I don't think they will, uh, there's plenty of options out there. So we'll, we'll discuss that in a later video if the Yankees do announce that Aaron Boone won't be coming back. But until then, you guys know the deal. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications for more. If you guys like videos like this one, let me know in the comments. Um, this is kind of like a new style for us, I guess. I haven't really done anything like this before, so let me know if you guys like it in the comments below. Um, we're going live just about every single night in the offseason, 9 p.m. Unhinged time. You guys know the deal. Stay tuned for all that. But you guys know the deal. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Stay safe. See you all next time. Peace.